Welcome back, everybody here, breaking down class 6A, looking at the brackets, and I mean, some observations just from uh, pairings night. Obviously, I couldn't talk to you guys on pairing night. It's a little TV thing, but uh, again, definitely want to go over this. And by the way, listen to Pigskin Preview on Thursday night. I'm going to give a lot more on that as well. So, uh, But anyway, seeing Nazareth in, in 6A is a little different for me, I think for some of you too, but uh, I tell you what. I think the Roadrunners got a great draw here. Got to be excited if, if you're Nazareth. You, you got a chance to win a state title. I don't think there's any question. However, always some pitfalls, and I think Lake Forest could be one of those pitfalls. The Scouts, very good team, battle-tested, playing 7A, 8A size schools all year. Lake Forest, very solid team. Now, I don't know if they have the talent to go head-to-head -head with the Nazareth, but I know the Scouts are always, always well-coached, very tough team. So early on, that's a team I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to the winner of DeKalb and Marmion because I, I just have a feeling it's going to be one heck of a game. I mean, cadets are going to go out to DeKalb and, and take on a very good Barbs team. You know, I've been in the playoffs in a long time and, you know, getting the host a home game and a lot, a lot's expected out in Dre Calb. And, you know, I, I know Dre's kind of been dinged up a little bit. You don't know how healthy he is going in. Um, and and Marmion's battle tested. I mean, I, I think this is, this potentially, could be a, a, a big upset in the first round. We'll, we will see, but I think the winner of this has a chance to go for a little ways. And then the other teams I like on the other side, I'm real intrigued by Lakes. I have been the last couple years. I know that uh, Luke Mertens has done a terrific job. Um, it just seems like come playoff time, just can't seem to put it together. I think this might be the team that might be able to put it together, but again, drawing Prairie Ridge in the first round, that is not a good draw at all. So that's an interesting game I'm looking at early on. Wheaton St. Francis, I'm telling you, what's all said and done, the Spartans, I think, are a team to watch here. I think the Spartans could be a real sleeper as a six seed, uh, taking on a good Grace Lake North team in the first round, but I think they win advance. And if you're looking for a team in the quarters that, that you might not expect to see against a Nazareth team, I think it's St. Francis. So definitely, you know, uh, definitely a, a name to watch out for. Now dropping down on the lower side of the bracket, I mean, Lamont and Harvey, I mean, I mean Thornton. Getting to uh, play on the turf over at Lamont round one. That is definitely my Saturday night game. Looking forward to that one. That'll be an interesting matchup. Yorkville and Crete. I mean, Yorkville having a great year. Crete, a little bit down this year, but hey, Warriors always have talent. That'll be a great game. Um, you know, Lincoln Way West I've talked about. Again, the only thing that scares me a little bit, they're generally a 5A team. They're one of the smallest in 6A. That's a big move up. I think they'll be okay against Morgan Park, but after that, you could run into Richards. And I think everyone will admit Richards is really the team to beat in that side of the bracket right now. The lower bracket in the south end of 6A, boy, I don't know. I, I really don't. I mean, Peoria Notre Dame has just been throttling everyone. Uh, Champagne Centennial has lost three in a row. Never count out Glenwood with, uh, you know, again, just uh, Coach Rourke. Just a veteran guy, always has his teams ready, and they've been battle tested as well. So I think Glenwood could surprise there. Um, you know, Peoria Richwoods and East St. Louis. I mean, the Flyers have all the talent in the world, but boy, drawing Richwoods in the first round, that is a tough, tough draw. I wouldn't be shocked if the winner of this game, uh, Peoria Richwoods and East St. Louis, up, oh, gotta go, makes it to the state final. So there you go, that's my take in Class 6A.